Guys, what's up? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today we're talking Blumhouse's new film, Upgrade. And of course, you can see I have a special guest. Cody, why don't you introduce yourself? They, for some reason, have never seen you on my channel. Hey, what's going on, everybody? First of all, I gotta thank Zach here for allowing me to be in this review with him. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Cody Curtis. I'm on YouTube. I'm a movie reviewer. Like Zach, I do movie reviews, movie analysis, and of course, you guys know that we do the Sweet Film Podcast, yeah. if you aren't already listening to it. Yeah, so go check it out. And he's also done one review on Sandwich on Films, just like I have, which was yeah. for Nostalgia? Yes. Right? Yes, yes. So if you guys might have seen him on that review as well, if you guys watched these videos on the website or even on the Sandwich John's YouTube channel. But of course, we're talking Upgrade today. This film is a brand new Blumhouse film. Blumhouse tilt, though, a little bit different. It's kind of their indie-ish stuff. And I will say... It's a blast. It's a blast to watch. Yeah, um, Leigh Whannell does direct it, and he is one of the guys who has developed Insidious. He's developed Saw. He's made some good horror franchises with Blumhouse before and other studios. So, you know, he has a wonderful mind. A very grotesque mind. Yeah. And I would sure. love to see the guy do a Mortal Kombat film, which we'll talk about. Yeah, absolutely. This. Absolutely. And it also stars Logan Marshall Green, is yep. his name. The other Tom Hardy, you, you guys might know him from Prometheus, is or Spider-Man Homecoming. He was in there for a bit as Shocker. Now, initial thoughts, Cody. Just a couple seconds. What are your thoughts about this film? Uh, th thoughts about the film? It's a fun film. It's a very, very flawed film. But it is a blast to watch. And if you guys are going to go watch this, which I think Zach and I both recommend that you do. Yeah, here's I totally the thing. recommend it. Go see it with an audience. Because this movie is an audience experience kind of movie. It is, really. Like, our audience was fantastic. Yeah, right? it like, was. Like, the stuff they were saying out, like, um, during one of the action sequences, which we'll go into again, um, they are very grotesque. They are Mortal Kombat-esque, I'll even go yeah. into. And they are brutal. They are filmed fantastically. Like, uh, amazingly. And this is why I go to say... Lay Winnell, because James Wan is producing a Mortal Kombat film, and them they two are both fr best friends. I would totally go with saying get him to direct the Mortal Kombat film. Yeah. I think the way he decided to direct and stylize these action sequences were brilliant. And the best thing was was the guy who behind us who when one of the grotesque scenes happened, he went fatality. I almost started I laughing my ass off during that. It was pretty much perfect. And yeah. there were other moments in there where people were going ooh oh, and that's the best. So yeah. this is the film. I do recommend going seeing. We pretty much have the exact same thoughts on this film. This film is a flawed film, but a very fun film at that. I put it this way, and I actually told you this when we walked out of the theater. This is a smart sci-fi idea placed in a dumb grindhouse B-rated action film, which is fine. Yeah, no. I, from the I never saw the trailers. I will go as far to say, though, this film, I did expect it being, since it's a sci-fi film, and since it was under Blumhouse Tilt Studios, I was thinking it might have been a more smarter sci-fi film going in. Did the trailers give that? Because I didn't watch the trailers. So did the tra trailers give that kind of smarter feel, or was it more of the B-rated? You know, from what I saw, it just it looked like a B-rated sci-fi okay. action movie. So that's fine. So I, gu I guess that's what it looks to be, and maybe that's just my expectations going different. But I will say, it was a fun film. It's a blast to watch. The cinematography is beautiful. Yeah, it it's true. Zach's absolutely right. Cinematography is great. The performances. The performances are fine. Are, they're fine. I think Logan Marshall Green, th this is another issue, is the script. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you talk about the script. Yeah, no, the, the script. If you guys remember Deadpool 2, when Deadpool says that's just lazy writing, you can well, pretty much attribute that to yeah. every single aspect of this movie. Because the, the script, the dialogue, everything, it's poorly, poorly written, which is one of our yeah. biggest issues which is a poorly Yeah, and maybe if you gave, got Tom Hardy, or say, because this guy does look like Tom Hardy, or maybe a Leonardo DiCaprio, and they got this dialogue, they might have been able to spruce it up a bit. But Logan Marshall Green, he's a decent actor. I think he's actually underrated, because he has actually in a pretty good amount of stuff. For me, his script, though, the script for this film, at times it was lazy writing. Yeah. And at times, the um, the dialogue was not that well done. No, not Again, at all. Again, not horrible. Like, not, like, tear my ears out. Like, this is d trash. It's not Fifty Shades it, of Grey. No, but it's it's just chugging along. Maybe that's because the actors do do a decent time with it. I just, I feel like there could have been some more non-lazy stuff. Some other subplots taken out. Because there were subplots in here that, yeah. like you said, that were placed into the film... To just get it over to that hour and a half runtime. Yeah, honestly, when it comes to this film, I don't know if Zach and I really disagree on this, and I don't generally say this about films that are only an hour and a half long, because this movie is about 90 minutes long. I felt there was enough that you could take out that if the film was 
film to only be an hour and 20 minutes, it would have been perfect. Yeah, see, and I think that's where we do disagree. I do, I don't hate the subplots. I think, I think they were unnecessary, but it was to add to just to more of this world and the story, and I, I understand why they were there, but I think that's the one issue, and I know you had some pacing issues too, right? Yeah, no, so, this movie felt very, very excruciatingly slow to me at see, times. See, and I didn't, I thought the film was just chugging along, it, again, predictable. When the film starts, you know where it's gonna go. Absolutely. When the film ends... I will say the ending caught me off guard, but this is another issue with me, and I think we'll talk about this in a bit. It, we're not going to go into spoilers, no. So, and I don't not. really want to because I, I think this is a film that maybe you, if you don't get caught off, if you do get caught on surprise, that's awesome. I hope it does get work for you in that way. But um, I do think that the film does kind of catch you. It tries to catch you off surprise, but it leads into a kind of a dumb ending. Where I feel like the the studio, I feel like this wasn't a director choice. I feel like this was the studio choice saying, "Hey, your audience might be stupid. You need to kind of make this not ending not as smart." Because there was a place where the ending ended, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is smart." Yeah. And then it kept going, and I was like, "Oh god!" Everyone groaned. Yeah. Everyone, everyone groaned. groaned. Everyone groaned in the theater. Honestly, it kind of felt like. Generally, everybody going into the the film had their own ideas while watching it, how the film was going to end, and then it ended a very certain way. And out of anything, I think this was probably the element in the film that was the laziest out of anything else. Yeah, and this is where I think the film just kind of died. Again, it's a fun film. If you're wanting a great blast, you've already seen every other film in theater... I, I, I wouldn't say go rewatch another film. I'd go recommend this film 100%. I think Upgrade is a yeah. total blast in the theater. It's a dumb, fun, grindhouse, B-rated film in a sci-fi universe. The sci-fi universe was really cool, and yeah. the CGI was great. I mean, if you guys are looking for just a fun, entertaining movie that you can go out and see with your friends and you want a fun movie theater experience, this is completely a movie you should go see. Oh, yeah, totally. I, I totally agree. Get as many of your friends as you can. Go to the biggest opening night theater you can, which will be tonight. So I hope you guys get to check it out. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. But since we're going off my rating, um, we give it the same rating, correct? Yeah. All right. So our rating for Upgrade, it has some decent performances. Some fantastic Mortal Kombat-esque action, great cinematography, great direction, some lazy writing in the script, the ending was poor, but it's a fun blast of the theaters, and I cannot deny that. I, that I really enjoyed Upgrade. I didn't enjoy it as much. I think if the story was a tad bit better, I probably would have enjoyed it even more. Yeah. But the ending's where it kind of fell apart for me. Again, awesome action. I'm blown away. Some of the best action I've seen this year. So with all that said, me and Cody will be giving Upgrade a, a C+. C+. You guys so much for watching our review of upgrade if you guys are new here i want to hear you guys thoughts that's what's important here i want to hear you guys comments what do you guys think about upgrade are you excited for it please comment down below and tell me what is your favorite blumhouse film what is your favorite blumhouse film we were talking about this yeah i'm pretty uh, get out right yeah i'm pretty sure it is get out so and for me i don't know that, that's really tough i might actually put the first or second insidious because i really like those films um, but there's so many Blumhouse films, I'd have to go through it. But I want to hear your, your guys' thoughts are of Blumhouse. What are your guys' favorite films by them? And maybe what's even your worst? And plus, what did you think of Upgrade? That's what's the most important thing here. Um, also, make sure to go hit that like and subscribe button. That's what means the most. Uh, Cody, tell them where they can find you at. Okay, as always, guys, you can find me right here on YouTube. Just search Cody Curtis. Should be the first name that pops up. And I'm also hanging out on Twitter and Instagram. Just search underscore Cody underscore Curtis. You should find me on there. And it's... It's a blast being on here on Zach's channel. And, of course, you guys can check us out on the Sweet Film Podcast. Yes, we're plugging that. Go check out that podcast. Make sure to go subscribe to him. Also, make sure to hit up all my social media links, which you can find either down below. And also, the most important thing is go hit up Sandwich John Films. Because with this website, you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news and movie reviews that you guys can only find on that website. So, it's important. And if you're already watching this from the website, thank you. You're pretty cool. Absolutely. Guys, this has been an absolute blast. And you know what? This has been fun. So, until next time, stay classy and have a great rest of your guys' day. Oh.